Sometimes things look good with our eyes, but ultimately they end up being bad. You've probably experienced this, and this is true in Genesis chapter 13. The story of Abraham continues as he's going to the land that God would show him, and he's heading that direction. He's going with his family, and he has a family member with him, Lot, and Lot has a bunch of herdsmen, and so does Abram, and their people are fighting because there's just too many of them, and so they get to a point where they get to the land, and Abram's going to say some things to Lot here that I want to share with you, which is helpful for us as we think about uh, how things sometimes appear to us. Listen to what it says here. Then Abram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, and between your herdsmen and my herdsmen, for we are kinsmen. Is not the whole land before you? Separate yourself from me. If you take the left hand, then I will go to the right, or if you take the right hand, I'll go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and saw that the Jordan Valley was well watered everywhere like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt in the direction of Zor. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself all the Jordan Valley, and Lot journeyed east. Thus they separated from each other. Abram settled in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities and the valleys and moved his tent as far as Sodom. Now the men of Sodom were wicked, great sinners against the Lord. What looked good to Lot? Oh, the land looks great. What he sees with his human eyes looks good to him. He goes that direction and he puts himself in great evil. Friends, this is what I want to encourage you with today. Just because something looks good with your earthly eyes, your physical eyes, doesn't mean it's good for you. We need to see things with our spiritual eyes, and we do that through looking at the scriptures and the Spirit guiding us through prayer. Make sure things look good spiritually before you move forward. Just because something looks good physically doesn't mean it's good for you. Have a good day.